YouTube, Superlead Hacksaw here, and uh, today I would like to show you something. It is uh, pretty freaking amazing. So, if you can see, that is, I don't know if you can see it or not, this is the iPhone 4.0. It's the, uh, the final release, I iOS 4, okay? And I'm going to show you how to get this today, any iDevice, okay? So it's, it's uh, pretty cool, I just did it myself. And uh, since Pro Switcher and stuff won't work while you're upgrading, I'm just going to show you on here, but this does work. I am not a developer or anything, okay? So there's a link in the description on where to download it. It brings you to this website. So you just, you have to be on a Mac to do this, okay? I want to say this first. You can um, use your friend's Mac and, uh, and restore it on this. But then uh, after that, you'll need to go to yours to sync on your Windows or whatever. So this is the the actual update or the yeah the update has to be done on a Mac because you need the iTunes nine two nine point two beta, which to do it which I just got so just download it from here just I just did the multi upload link. As you can see, if you don't, still don't believe me that I have four point there it is right there version software build version, and if you still don't believe me, I'll open up my Spirit Jailbreak. And that tells you iPod Touch 2G 4.0 not supported. Okay, so the, the jailbreak isn't out. Well, 20 bucks says I can find one, and if I can find one, I'll post a video on how to do it and stuff. But for now, I haven't had, I can't find one. So, but it is uh, pretty amazing. This new, um, this new OS. The, it has a new feature called Airplane Mode. Not too sure if that's the exact same on Mac. See if you can broadcast a wireless signal or not. Um, the dock they changed it. It's got the. Uh, the actual Snow Leopard dock here. It's got folders now. It's got uh, Game Center, which comes default with it. All the apps lo load faster, and they got a nicer look to them. So it is uh, pretty amazing. So as you can see, just go to this website, scroll down a little bit. First, install the uh, 9.2 beta. It takes about two minutes to do. And then when you're in the 9.2 beta, you're just gonna, like just have your any i, I device connected. Download the uh, the GM seed or the GM uh, iOS from this website. So you got your iPhone 3GS here, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 3G, and iPod Touch 2G. If you don't know what you have between the iPod Touches, it's um, the 3Gs are the six. The 3Gs are only available in the 16 gigabyte or the 32 gigabyte and the 64 gigabyte as well as the 16, I believe. I'm not really sure about the 16, but 32 and 64 for sure. The iPod Touch 2G is uh, anything else, like you, you can get it in that, but for 8 gigs, 8 gigs are, they only, if, if you got it newer, if it's newer, then it's most likely a 2G because you cannot get a um, uh, an 8 gig 3G, 8 gigs are only 2Gs. If you also don't know, just uh, you can download Spirit, it's a jailbreak for the iPod Touch 3. any firmware, iPad, anything. Just download Spirit and it'll tell you uh, what you have right here once it's connected, iPod Touch 2G and mine is an 8 gig. So it'll tell you what you have there. Oops. So uh, that's that's good too. So then you just click on the link. This is the one that I used. So you just click on multi-upload or whatever. And then you s direct download, save it to wherever you want. I already have mine saved. If you look at my downloads here. Oops. Look at my downloads. I just finished downloading at 1033. It's 1047. So I just downloaded a couple minutes ago. As you can see, it is the 4.0 beta here, or the 4.0 final release for the 2, two, uh, 2G iPod. So you just download it, okay? And then uh, you're going to open up your iTunes, okay? And then you're going to hold Option, and you're going to click Restore, okay? And then you're going to search for, my. It's Firefox defaults it to the Downloads folder, so mine is in the Downloads folder, and then you just click this and choose it. And then it'll go through all the restoring process. Uh, I suggest you back up your iDevice first before you do this. And then you don't have to import any of the settings or anything. But uh, after that, like, if, if you don't back it up, you will have to import the settings. Um, as you can see, it's got a couple new features in this iTunes 9.2. But uh, yeah, the new firmware. There you go, guys. It is uh, pretty amazing. It actually looks really nice. Um, just going to be fooling around with this for a little bit. The folders is really cool. I really like the new folders, how they do it. And you can you can name your folders too, which is pretty cool. So uh, I haven't really figured out how to move items out of your folders yet. But, oh, there we go. You just click on the folder and then you just drag it out. So uh, yeah, so hope you guys have a great time. Message 
leave some messages in the comments on uh, what you think of this and if you've done it or not just so people know that this is legit I did it myself if you don't believe me that's your loss and you can wait 13 days for the actual final release and I'm sure in 13 days they will have the jailbreak out on the day because they have been working on this jailbreak and there is one out for the iPhone 3GS for 4.0 beta or the for the 4.0 GM so uh, there is a jailbreak on that if you have a 3GS there is a jailbreak for that it is a uh, Ponens Jewel I believe you can you can search that up on the internet I, I'm not gonna give you any details for that because I don't have a 3GS but uh, I will search for one for iPods too so uh, yeah this is Super Lit Hacksor and uh, have a great day